Hey guys, it's TFNet, and oh boy, look at all these figures. I got here a bunch of imports. I've been really slacking on some imports, figure reviews lately, so I've, uh, to motivate myself to review these, even though they're pretty old at this point, I am going to be doing for the next couple weeks on Monday through Friday, a review each day, a pre-made review, uploaded on the channel of one of each of these, uh, action figures here of some imports figures I've been wanting to review for a while. And this is not everything you're seeing here. I'll show off the rest in a little bit, but this is what you're seeing here is basically week one. I'm doing this just to motivate myself to actually do these videos and put it in my collection. And also to you know refresh some of you out there that some of these are getting re-releases soon. Uh, so first of all, let's just jump right into it. Uh, Monday, I'm gonna be doing the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball GT Super Saiyan 4. Goku, very cool figure to finally have, which I got earlier this year from Big Bad Toy Store. It took them a little while to ship theirs when everyone else was getting theirs from like Ami Ami and whatnot. I missed out heavily on Ami Ami and places like that, but I'm glad to at least have it. It is getting a re-release alongside with the release of the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I think there's some retailers now that you might be able to get this like right now. So you'll find out when I get to the review, which the day, the day you're seeing this video, the next day I'm going to be starting these reviews. The next review is going to be on Tuesday. This is going to be the full power version of Broly. Very glad to have this figure. Missed out on it originally when it came out, I think in like 2020. At the end of 2020, I had the regular version of Broly, the armored version. And since I missed out on the one that you see here, I originally was like, okay, well, I missed out, but I'm still happy with this one. But now that I have this one here that I finally got from Big Bad Toy Store, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Wednesday is going to be the One Shot Toys. Yu Yu Hakusho Karama, very cool figure here, and I'm really liked this review too. I wish I did this one sooner. Uh, I got Yusuke last year, ended up liking that figure a good amount, and Kuwabara should be coming out hopefully soon. I don't know yet, and no word on Hiei. I'm really hoping once the time comes for Kuwabara to come out, we're going to find out if they're making Hiei, and it would be a big disappointment if they didn't finish off the main four characters, at least, of Yu Yu Hakusho. Very excited to get to this uh, review in particular because I love this series. On Thursday, I'm going to be reviewing the Figma Fate Grand Order Ruler, a.k.a. Jean d'Arc, who is actually from Fate Apocrypha, which is a Fate show I really don't like, if I'm being quite honest. But uh, I actually really like this character, so I was very happy that they were re-releasing this Figma here, so I'm glad I have it. Friday is going to be the standard version of the Figma Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. And the special thing about this is that while I got the standard version, and most people are going to want the deluxe version, which is the optimal version with all the accessories it comes with, I pre-ordered this from Good Smile's website. So when you see this review, you're going to be seeing the pre-order bonus along with this. So that's pretty sick. Next up for week two, uh, and I, I, there's one figure here I haven't shown off yet, and I'll talk about that in a second. But just showing you quickly... Um, some of the boxes in the back you can't even see. So, number one on week two, which is going to be on Monday, is going to be the Figma Attack on Titan Levi figure. This is the re-released Figma. Very glad they were re-releasing this. Uh, I'm really hoping that eventually Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin get re-releases. Uh, fingers crossed. I have no idea yet, but very glad to finally have the Levi Figma. Tuesday is going to be followed up with the Erwin Smith from Attack on Titan as well, which is a very wide box here. Man, this is, might be one of the widest boxes I've owned for an action figure. This thing is very cool. And I got this about the same time I got Levi 2, which has been about, when you're seeing this, uh, three, four weeks ago. I could be wrong on that, don't remember. But excited to get to that review. Next up is actually going to be of the uh, Bandai Tamashii Nation's Robot Spirits Mobile Suit Gundam rx 782 and this image here uh i'm gonna explain really quick i lost the footage for this when i reviewed it or start, started to review it last year like i think the winter of 2021 actually the early winter and um yeah i don't know what i did wrong but i put the files in a separate area that i wouldn't think to check so i just thought i lost the footage i had already deleted the card wasn't planning on reviewing it but i just recently rediscovered all of the footage and all the photos that go along with it too now the big thing is that this is going to be reviewed uh when i didn't have the um 
you know, the alleyway backdrop that you guys see in pretty much every review I do now. So it might be a little weird um, looking at the review and just seeing a black backdrop. But hey, I would still like to review this figure because it is getting a best selection re-release from Tamashi Nations coming, I believe, at the end of this year. So it's if you're interested, it is a good time to try to track that down and pick it up. And then on Thursday, I'm going to be reviewing this one here, which actually has been sold out for a while, unfortunately. But this is the Robot Spirits uh, Side Ava, Ava Unit 2 from Rebuild of Evangelion. Very cool figure here, and I really only wanted to complete the main three Avas. I was thinking about getting Mari's Ava, but decided against it uh, after watching the movies, which you'll, you'll get my opinion of the movies in that review as well. But I'm uh, very glad to have Ava Unit 2. Uh, who knows if it'll eventually get a best selection re uh, re-release like Ava Unit 1 is getting. It's like a Club Tamashi exclusive, whatever that means. Um, that Ava Unit 1. So Ava Unit 2 might end up doing the same thing since it's sold out. Friday is going to be ended with uh, the almighty here. Uh, All Might. Very, very happy to finally have the amazing Yamaguchi. All Might here. I really missed out on this a couple years ago. Maybe a little over... Well, maybe almost two years ago. I don't remember exactly, but missed out on the first release, and I regret it ever since. Now that I have Deku, uh, Bakugo, and Todoroki, glad to have All Might, and glad to eventually get Endeavor as well as Hawks when they come out later this year. So, uh, yeah, that is everything I am going to attempt to review for the next couple weeks of anime week or weeks on the channel. I might test out doing my first ever live stream too i don't know that yet like so don't i can't really confirm that but if i was to do a live stream i'd be building a, a mobile suit gundam um just a model kit so uh, those for me take pretty quickly to uh to build so who knows and i can maybe chat with some people while i'm building that uh when i start that if i do it don't know entirely yet but yeah that's the roster uh, the itinerary for these two weeks of anime week that I'm going to be calling on the channel, even though it's weeks, of course. Very excited, and that's pretty much all I wanted to do with this update video. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, let's have some fun.